Okay, hello everybody, gonna make soap today. Now, a little bit of extra news for you with regards to the law and EU law, UK law. So in August this year coming, there's going to be a ban on a fragrance component or allergen called Lilial. This is also known as butylphenyl methylpropionyl. And I'll leave that gobful down below or on screen so you can see. Um, next year there's going to be a ban on Lyral, which is another one. So these are only chemicals are present in some fragrances at levels that will no longer be safe for use in soap. So one such fragrance, the one we're going to be soaping with today, is Honey Wash from Grace Root. And this is one that uh, Harney sent to me a while ago. So some bars will be heading their way to her as well, along with some more. I've got a little stash on the go for her. Um, so yeah, we need to use this up by August 2020. August 2020. So anything with Lilial at a percentage of 0.01 or over in soap or any other product, in leave-on products it would be 0.001, then it needs to be used up and that's it. Or they, I mean, some of these companies might end up reformulating so that these allergens are not in there anymore, but then some of them... I think it's so high in some of them that it would be impossible to get that same scent if they took it out. There's one on here, I've got a list here that I've made of all the uh, fragrances I need to use up by 2020, like August 2020 or August 2021 for these two allergens. So Snow from Grace Root is another really popular one. That one needs to be used by August this year as well, which is a shame because that's in one of my blends that I use for autumn and winter, but you know, there's so many fragrances to use that it doesn't really matter in the long run. These uh, Lilial and Lyrel are not present in any essential oil, so as far as I know, no, they're not in any essential oil, as far as I know, I don't think they are. Um, so yeah, I think they're just from fragrance oil, so they're like an aroma chemical that is an allergen. So, Honey Wash is one such fragrance and this one is a dupe of Lush's Honey I Wash the Kids so this is one we're going to soak today so it smells really really good <laughs> like really good it's got more of a powdery note than the original Honey I Wash the Kids I think it's more of a sweet caramelly sort of smell the one from Lush and this is very similar but it's got more of a powdery note which I quite like so we're going to use this one I won't be using it all today because um I'm only going to make one batch of soap. So we're going to make a batch of soap and we're going to be using some bubble wrap just on the top to create a nice honeycomb effect. Not over the whole of the top, I'm just going to do that in a strip on, on the top. So we'll see how this turns out. But um, yeah, I'm going to need to use this bottle by August this year. So we'll get going. Stay tuned. Okay, I'm just going to pour the lye in then. Do this. I'm not going to add any colour. I just want it to be a nice soft honey colour, which it should be. It says it doesn't discolour, but that's Grace Fruits notes. I think it might, maybe slightly, I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm just going to stick blend this together. Okay, that's emulsified, so I'm just going to add my fragrance. And I'm working with 1.9% fragrance. So in this little batch, it's about 40 millilitres. It's quite a strong scent. So I'm making this in a five pound mould. So in, you in the States, you're used to using about 5% fragrance because it's what most suppliers would recommend, but it really isn't needed. <laughs> you're going to be using that much and you'll end up buying the fragrance over and over again. And really it's a waste because you don't need 5% in soap at all. It's, it's rather a lot. I just will say that it is rather a lot to have 5% in soap. In fact, I've used soap from the States before where I've used one... Now, I know they're not specifically made for the face, but I did use a soap on my face once and my eyes literally burned. Like, it was ridiculous. And I'm sure it was because the fragrance level was so high. But this, like, I've never had anybody say that the fragrance is too light in my soaps. 
so you'll find that around 1.9 I mean because you can go to 5% I would drop it a little bit if I were you just save yourself some money <laughs> I'm just gonna stick around this a bit more and there may be a few of you there like well I like my soaps really strong it's like and that's fine it's personal preference but I personally don't like something so overpowering that it takes over the uh, scent in my whole room you know <laughs> Just try it. Don't mock it till you try it. Seriously. Do yourselves a favour and save some money so you don't end up using the same, you know, the fragrance up in such a quick amount of time and get a lot more out of it. Okay, that's reached trace now, just lightly. So that's good. It doesn't accelerate, but not so good because we need to use it up because we're going to use it again. <laughs> Hey, well we will, but at a lesser quantity then. Okay, so I'm just going to bring you in and show you the top and the pour. Okay, so nice basic soap really. I've not done the honeycomb thing for with like bubble wrap for a long time, but since this is a honey soap, we may as well do it. I'm going to have to wait for a bit till it sets up because... I want one side to be honeycomb and one side not to be honeycomb. So I'll have to pause this for a bit or stop this and come back in a second when this is thickened enough for me to do the top. So I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I'm just going to spoon on the rest that I've got in the bowl. I want this one side to be higher because that's where I want to put my stuff. So what have I watched on Netflix? I watched a horrendous programme last week and that was The Trials of Gabrielle Fernandez. I wish I'd not watched it really. Another one. I've got to get off the true crime. I need to start watching nice things. I said this before. <laughs> But it came up and I thought, oh, I'll watch that. And then I was like, oh, li oh, lordy. And then I had to know what happened at the end. So I followed it through and binged it for two days. And yeah, it wasn't nice at all. So if you watch that, you'll know exactly what I mean and what I'm talking about. It was just horrific. But there you go. So what else am I watching? I was am I watching? Oh, Cold Case Files, I've been watching those. Um, they're not as bad, they're not like so horrific as that Gabriel Fernandez programme. But still not very nice. I, I still need to get back to my Anne with an E, don't I? I need to finish that. <laughs> okay, so here's my strip, which I'm going to put... Actually, I want to make it thinner than that. Hold on a minute. Let me get my scissors. Put this to the side of the sack. I'm just going to snip a little bit more because I really don't want it to be too wide. Let's see. Okay. Okay, that'll do. Okay, so I want to, I want to, I want to stick it on there. So we just need to push it on there like that. Nice and simple. So it looks like when it gets cut, it should look like it's kind of broken a bit, you know? Which I would like. And then I'm going to put on some calendula petals from up here. So I have my jar of calendula petals here. And I'm just going to sprinkle a few just on the other side. And that'll add a bit more interest and make it look pretty pretty. I'm not using the gloves because it's easier to sprinkle these down without them on. So I'm just uploading a short little stock update 
on YouTube. I'm just uploading that video now. It's just a little one done from my phone so I could show you the soap on the racks, which I've got, not on the racks, on the soap shelf in my shop so I can show you what I've got available. And also, uh, there's a little mini tour of this room so you can see my view rather than the view you're seeing most of the time you can see that what it's like when I look out and the view from behind this counter because <laughs> I never show it so I thought there you go you can have a look so that video will be up already be up before this one because it's going up now and then this one I'll do probably for Thursday I guess Try and get on top of it again, do a couple of videos a week. Okay, I'm just going to sprinkle a few more on. There we go. So it looks pretty. Very, very pretty. Just adds a bit more interest than just having the honeycomb thingy going on, you know. Okay, so tonight, what am I doing? I'll be cooking a little bit of dinner. I'm not going to have too much because we had rather a large meal yesterday. And we will be watching The Nine Club, which is a skateboard podcast. We watch it every Monday and every Thursday. And that's here on YouTube. Um, we love it. And they have a guest on a Monday and then they do the nine club experience on a Thursday. So they just sit and chat on a Thursday. But it's just, uh, it's great. We really love that. So we sit down twice a week and watch that. And then in the morning we'll be in the gym again. So we're still managing to go every other day because Matt's still trying to get that hip flexor back. And it's coming back slowly, gradually, which is really good. So yeah it's not too bad everything's going great and yeah happy 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 it's all good okay so there is honey wash and i don't know what i'm going to call it something honey related i guess maybe the bee charmer might be quite nice because when i was setting out i was going to make eg thread good today but then i realized the fragrance i got was the different one. This is just the batch that I got from Harney. I don't know if I've got the one that I use for Iggy. But anyway, probably call this the Bee Charmer. So there we go. I will be... Oh, shoot. Just... <laughs> just pour that almost out. There we go. We're safe. <laughs> okay. I will see you for the cut in a second. Okay. I'm just going to do a close-up bit just while I take the honeycomby bit off I mean the bubble wrap <laughs> so you can see what it comes out like just make sure no bubble wrap gets stuck on the top I often wonder who was the first person to ever use bubble wrap to do this. It's such a genius idea. <laughs> okay, so that's it there. And I'll bring you on a different angle to do the cut with the tank. A sip of coffee first. Get that one out of the way. Okay, I'm drinking, again, Cacao Superior, the one I had before by Taylor's of Harrogate. Cacao Superior. Okay, I'm just going to trim the edges of this one because, 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 on this side, it overlapped the mould just slightly. So I just want to take that off before I cut it. There we go. There we go. Let's get you cut. Let's get you cut. I have to put it on its side, won't we? So I don't get those flowers anywhere. Okay, need a piece at the end. Okay. Ooh, that'd be 
hard. Okay, so it's going to be just a plain bar inside. It'll just be the topping that we have that is interesting. So there you go. Just take those out. I'll leave some nice pictures at the end. As you can see, little close-ups. Just been out with Bridie again this morning and it's very cold today. So hopefully it will start to warm up shortly and the clocks change at the end of the month so that's always something to look forward to. So okay, let's get the next bit done. Oh, I've been to the gym this morning and done arms like upper body. It's hurting a bit. <laughs> okay. Okay. So there we go. There is. I think I'll call it the beach armor. I think that'll be quite nice. Move that out of the way, give that a good old tidy up in a minute. So, there you go. There's our soap. And I leave pics at the end and then I can get this uploaded and hopefully it will go up on Thursday evening. Okay, see you soon. Ta-ta.